we can commit this to github and deploy to netlify so let me open github and netlify so let me log into netlify let me log into github and create a new repository so create a new repository called dev dash to dash clone dash yt like so and then copy this link and then oh, i have not yet committed it so we need to commit it first of all close all of this down we can open up our terminal we can shut this down and then we can say git commit so we can say git remote at origin and by the way in order for this to work then you need to create a git repository for yourself or you can clone it or you can fork it so that you have it in your own account if you try to commit into my repository then it's not going to work and then i can say git push dash you origin main and by default it should push the react application that we canvassed in the beginning so let me just wait for this to run okay and if you check in the github then we should see the default react application right here okay created four hours ago and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to commit all of this so i'm just going to show you how to commit one of them and then um, i'm going to do the rest of them off videos so that doesn't take too much time so i'm going to say git add tailwind dot config the js and i'm going to say git commit dash m and i'm going to say tailwind config file and then i'm going to say git push and then once it pushes the file to github then you will reload this and it should appear right here so tell in config 10 seconds ago okay so i'm going to do the rest of video and then once i'm done then we're going to be back okay so i've finished pushing this to github so let's go ahead and reload the, our website or our repository rather and we should see this okay 27 seconds ago so let's go ahead into netlify to deploy our application so I'm going to go into import an existing project from GitHub. And it's called dev, dev .to clone. So dev. No, come on search. So dev.to clone right there. And then we're going to say deploy site. Okay. And I'm going to change this site into change site name. Let's say TSP dev to clone like so and we can wait for this to finish deploying and then we can view our website okay so once it deploys then you can reload your web page and you should find this would you look at that so we have our application up and running on the internet okay yeah that's looking fantastic so you can click on the next page you can click on the previous page and you can click once again to get this toast and you can click on this ones to get the particular uh, articles and yeah this is a pretty nice application we have added tons of functionality to it and we have learned how to use react on another level so if you have reached this far please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i will see you in the next video Bye bye